All right, I got some raw cards here I'm going to start with. Uh, Garrett Cole in particular. Um, hoping he'll join the Yankees on a big contract next year. In the meantime, here is um, from 2013 Topps Black, Topps Chrome Black. This is an auto um, number to 100. Nice rookie card of Cole here. And I do intend to send this and these other two off the PSA with my next submission. There's a little bit of a a dent here it looks like so that may limit the grade to a nine maximum I don't know if you can see it you see that they kind of like shine the light over it otherwise it looks great um, so we shall see um, it'll be a few weeks actually a few months before I get that graded but um, these are two purple refractors from 2012 a Bowman chrome first Bowman card Garrett Cole one of these is definitely no more no better than a nine and one could be a ten these are numbered out of uh, out of 199 this guy has had quite the season, to say the least. Up next, a basketball card that, uh, for some reason, is... I don't know, it just seems to be expensive for what it is. It's, it's LeBron's card from Donner's Optic 2018, and probably because it's his first card in the Lakers Uni. The base optic here in a 10 sent me back about 50 bucks. That's kind of a lot of money for a 15th year card, uh, I would say. Um... But I liked it. I wanted to get it. I originally wanted to get the hollow version, but I just kind of justify paying that kind of money for such a, a newer card for a guy who it's not even close to being a rookie card. Um, so there's LeBron. And by the way, I got a bunch of 2019-20 uh, Donruss Optic on order, pre-order anyway, from Toy Wiz of all places. Check them out if you wanted to pay. If you don't want to pay more than retail, uh, you can go get it from Toy Wiz if you like the, the Optic brand, which I believe is a step up from Hoops which is currently selling for double MSRP right now. And um, anyway, I have a couple of mega boxes that I ordered at $35 a box. I ordered uh, two retail boxes for $79.99 a piece. And then I got a cello box for, I think, a buck twenty. So like $350 to $400 worth of uh, uh, 2019 Dunner's Optic product. Looking for a hollow of, uh, well, of Zion and, you know, the other guys in that draft class too. Um, so that'll be fun when those come in. I think the first part of that order is going to arrive in November, at least it said, the, the mega boxes. The other ones are going to arrive in January. I'm not sure why. Um, hopefully my orders don't get canceled for some obscure reason. But just pointing out the fact that you could still buy uh, this year's basketball product uh, for MSRP if you look. Um, all right, up next is only my second rookie card for Aaron Judge. This one is a variation. 2017 Bowman Chrome, the dugout variation, they call it. This guy, if he could just stay healthy for a full season, will easily mash 40 to 50 home runs. Um, so, yeah, I like this one a lot because it's it's a little bit more limited the, than the uh, other judge rookies that are out there. And then I also picked up this, um, you know, I would say a key card, a very uh, important card from the 80s. Um, not not this player's most important card. This is the Manley rookie in an 84 tops. And I got this from Four Sharp Corners. Um, not interested in paying the 10 money on an 84 Donruss Manley rookie card. I um, don't know how much more room that has to really grow at that point. I mean, honestly, if I were to, if I had 1,200 bucks on where to burn, I'd probably go after a high grade Whitey Ford rookie from 51 Bowman or, or something along those lines. Um, but I do intend to get that 84 Donruss uh, graded. It's strange I don't already own it, but I don't have it in a slab. And I, I'd go for a 9, um, which are now you know in the $200 range, but much more palatable than, say, you know $1,200. Uh, all right, lastly, I've started a new player collection here, um, an unregistered PSA set registry. Not unlike my Nolan Ryan, but this one's a little more, I guess, um, like with Orion, I have two left to go. And with that whole run of cards, I have like, I mixed up Tiffany's with golds and so on and so forth. But this one, I'm going to stick with just straight up base tops cards in a 10. I'm not going to mess around with the, the golds and the Tiffany variations, things like that. And it's Ricky Henderson. So I have his rookie card in a nine, but the rest I'm going to go for all 10s. And one of the reasons is that, um, you know, Henderson played a very long time. And he played during a lot of years for which I did not even collect cards. I got out of the hobby. And so it allowed me to get sort of a representative card from Tops from a lot of the years I wasn't buying Tops cards, primarily the 
I guess, mid to late 90s and early 2000s. So I'll show a few here. I got the 82. And uh, here's 83. Uh, 84. 85. I don't have 86 yet. That's very pricey because of the black borders. In fact, that one, uh, when I do come around to getting that or acquiring that, it's probably going to send me back over 100 bucks. Um, so there's no rush to get that one. And then lastly, from the 80s decade uh, that I have is the uh, 89 Tops Trader, which is probably one of my favorite Henderson cards. And... Um, Again, I have some more that I bought. I'm not going to show them in this video. I'll just wait till I uh, maybe finish out the entire uh, the entire run. Then I'll make a dedicated video for that. So anyway, that's it for this week. Um, this is my latest uh, modern card pickups. Um, and again, if you're into uh, Zion Williamson hunting, uh, and if you like the Optic brand, it's a step up from Hoops. You can buy that for st you can still buy it for retail pricing at ToyWiz.com. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.